Good morning, it's Dr. James. Hey, I hope you're off to an awesome start this morning. It's great to see you. Thank you for your time and thank you for your energy. I just noticed I look like a Smurf this morning and I look like I'm, I think this is the haircut I had when I was five years old. It's very, <laughs> so, oh boy. Anyway, uh, in the spirit of being youthful and playful and taking your life from good to great, I'm gonna share with you five things that you can do today. Five science-based routines that literally will elevate your life. I thought about you this morning in such a way I said, I bet you, like me, are ready to raise the octave in your life. Turn up the brightness, turn up the brilliance, turn up the success, the happiness, the peace, the purpose, and the possibility in your life. Five things that I know you're already doing, but with a little shift, just a little shift, it's going to raise your entire life. You ready? Number one. When you hear the word exercise, you go, woohoo, can't wait to exercise. Man, I had the visions of the treadmill and I'm so excited. <laughs> Me either. But when I think about play, exercise, play. Play is where it's at. In fact, all the research on people who move their bodies every day with a level of zeal and a commitment that's beautiful, it's because they don't see it as like, I'm gonna lose weight with exercise. I'm gonna make my heart healthier. I'm gonna lower my cholesterol. Those are all important, nice side effects of exercise, but they don't necessarily inspire us. What inspires us is saying, I feel good when I move. I feel the confidence, I feel the creativity. I feel my spiritual light just catching fire when I move. When was the last time you came back from a walk and was like, yeah, that was lame, <laughs> never. It always makes us feel better, so embrace play versus exercise. Number two, this is an awesome one, go from a handshake, which is good, to a hug, which is great. Why do we do that? Handshakes will give you a little burst of oxytocin, a little burst of uh, hormones of connection and chemicals of happiness, but when you go in for a hug, especially a seven second hug or longer, oh my goodness, handshake is good, and the hug is great. So let's just commit to raising the connection with that. Number three, routine to ritual. I love this because I know that you and I, we have our little list every day. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. But if we raised the ritual idea, and that simply means we're gonna be more present. We're gonna actually do things with a level of favor, a level of faith, a level of godliness a level of Christ consciousness that says, I pour myself into this and I do it with a level of reverence and a level of love and a level of intentionality. Oh my gosh, it changes everything. So if, if this is part of your, your list today, like catch up with this community, but think about what you wanna do with this community and how you wanna take the favor of this community and raise it. Literally imprint a ritual of love and, and, a, and a zeal and a joie de vivre that is literally transcendent, okay? Enough of that. <laughs> Number four, food to fuel. When you open the refrigerator door, ask yourself, what's the return on intention? What's the return on the ingestion? When you open the door, you say, what would love do now? See food as fuel to give you energy, to give you presence, to give you confidence, to give you creativity. It's in your food. Take it from just feeding yourself to fueling your light and your love and your purpose and your dharma and your passion. This is it. Number five, go from love of others to love of yourself. So many people in the spiritual path go, you know what, I, I'm, I'm easy when it comes to serving others. I have a, I've got it made when it means I'm gonna love someone else. The real work, can I love myself so deeply, so completely, so unconditionally, it makes me beautifully and wonderfully uncomfortable. Can you love yourself that deeply? I know you can. And when you give yourself permission to go from good to great, and I, Honor the opportunity to be so wildly awake and on fire with purpose and passion. You change your life. You change the world. You wake up the world. You are so awake to the possibilities that are inside of you every single day. Don't ever forget how good you are. Today's a day to rise and shine. Your life is up for grabs. I am with you. I am for you. And I love you. Peace and blessings. Bye for now.